Hi guys, it's Echi here. I'm back. Um, like I said previously, we were moving house and that took up a lot of time, but now I'm all set up again. So in today's video, I will show you how I've fitted the belt and um, the bit about the, the heated bed. So let's get started. I'm reusing the belt that I used on the previous printer. So it's a 0.05 millimeter stainless steel shim and with a diagonal join. I'll put it, a link at the top um, of a video where I made this belt. To fit the belt, I have to take off the, uh, the mounts for the rollers. So luckily it's not a hard process. The belt then just slides over the rollers. The roller mounts go back on and um, we just tighten up the, uh, the nuts a bit, tighten the belt a little bit and we're ready to fit the heat bed. The heat bed goes on these beams um, so I just slide them underneath and more or less Put them in position so the heat bed will go on top of this and these beams can go up and down a little bit adjust up and down to make everything nice and level so you'll remember that my heat bed is a mirror that i've stuck the pcb heat bed to so i'm using some gorilla glue to stick a foam board at the bottom to insulate to keep the heat in then I just put it under the belt and let the, the glue dry a bit on the bottom of the foam board there's an extra little strip that prevents the uh, heat bed from sliding backwards as the belt is turning I can now move the these beams to line the uh, mirror up with the nozzle. Okay, so let's see if we can get some movement out of it. So I haven't done any um, cable management or tightened the belts or anything. I'm just checking that things are moving and turning in the right directions. In the next video, we'll do some test prints. We'll calibrate the Z-axis stepper steps per millimeter, and we'll square the frame. Thanks for watching, and thanks for for subscribing. Uh, it's great to be part of this community. See you next time.